Welcome back, guys. I'm excited to get started, so let's jump straight in. In the last episode, um, I talked a little bit about how you, you have to get to know these mods and understand how they behave. Well, I want to show you like a perfect example of that with um, zoning outside your original map borders. So here's our original uh, map border, okay? And we want to start zoning outside now I've shown you that you can you can plot buildings uh, outside but what about regular zoning now th I thought this was interesting because I've I've actually been checking out a, a few other youtubers and every single one of them has said you can't zone outside your original map borders it doesn't work well yeah it it does but there are all kinds of restrictions and limitations let me show you where the confusion uh, comes from so Let's take a regional medium density street, right? And we'll just draw a road up here, right? Just a little road up there. Now, so then I go over to my zoning tool and uh, come over here and, oh, oh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's broken. You, you, you can't zone. Look, I can zone inside the border, but I can't zone outside. Ah, oh, it's broken. Ha ha ha. Well, let me show you. Um, there is actually a comment which is misinterpreted uh, about how your roads need to be connected to your um, internal roads or you know roads which are inside your map borders. Let me show you how this little baby works. And delete this little section here, and then we're going to run this medium density road. And you and you can use regional streets. Anywhere, they don't have to be outside, so you can use them inside as well. Let's pop that there. I'm going to pop another one across here. And then I'm going to put in a little road up here just to show you another particular feature. Right, now, let's go back to our zoning. Right, we want to zone uh, some, some residential in here. And I can I can zone. Oh, and... Oh, oh, it won't go outside the borders. It won't go, it's broken, it doesn't work. Okay. If you hold down the control key, something magical happens. Look at that. It's zoning all the way outside. Now, I've seen somebody else say, oh yeah, you do this, but it doesn't work. But you'll notice that it, it only zones up to this spur road here. Okay, so... You've got to be inside the map borders, so you've got to be on a road that's inside the map borders. And then, I'm going to, let, I'm going to put that in. Right, now let's crank this up, right? Because I've heard people say, well, it doesn't work. It, it, it doesn't, um, yeah, it zones it in, but it doesn't build the houses. Well, oh, look. Look, there are houses building. It takes a while because we're, we're actually quite away from the, uh, with the entrance. It takes, <laughs> takes the vehicles a while to get over there. But look. They are filling in, and they will fill in completely. And um, it'll kind of fill in a little bit, sort of weirdish. So, it'll like, it's, I think it's going to fill this section in, and then it might fill in one of the internal sections, and then it'll do another external section. Um, but yeah, it absolutely does zone. So what you have to do is you have to start your road inside your map border, and then extend it out, and then use the control key when you do the zoning okay but that means that like if you were clever about how you did it i mean you could have these roads going all over the place zone them in then after you've done that maybe add your spur roads uh, and then use rci plop so you can definitely do that a uh, word of warning see it's it's filled this section in now it's filling this section oh it started filling this one in as well look there's one cool excellent uh, word of warning, though, <laughs> I've got to show you this, because, um, and I'm going to do this before there's too many, because it <laughs> drives me a bit crazy. Um, the problem with these uh, zoned roads outside your map borders is that the the uh, the bulldoze tool is is rather selective. So, like, if if I delete this section of road, it'll delete the houses that are on that road. Boom, gone, lovely, nice and tidy. If I delete this section, it will only delete the road. It doesn't delete the houses. So you've then got to go in and... I'm getting a bit closer. And, and then individually delete, demolish each 
individual house. Now, if you're doing like <clears throat> high density buildings, it's not too bad. But like, <laughs> if you decide to do a massive trailer park, um, yeah, yeah, be careful about that. Uh, to be honest, it's exactly the same if you use RCI plop, so it kind of doesn't make any difference, but just be aware of that one. Uh, now, while we're talking about bulldozing, let's talk about um, the regional bulldozing tool. Okay, now, the regional bulldoze tool is excellent because it allows you to uh, completely remove sections of the, the regional freeways um, so the, the the pre laid roads that come with the region, and not only that, but also the regional railroad tracks. So remember how annoyed we used to get sometimes when there would be an annoying spur, like like a really long spur or something coming into the city that we didn't want to use, but you couldn't delete it. Well, now you can. So you can take your bulldoze tool, and you want to delete a section. Boom! You can delete a section. Uh, now. If we go to the transport menu, look, we've got a new option for regional heavy rail tracks. So we could uh, we could delete that section and then just lay a new set of tracks somewhere else. Um, and the same goes for the freeways, but I want to throw in a few words of caution. This really is for extreme users because um, it's very easy to kind of break things. On your regional freeway that runs around here, there will be things like spawn points for vehicles. So, like, where do you think you're... Like, if you've got um, uh, d d trade depots, for example, the, the vehicles that deliver to your trade depots come from the region, and they will appear somewhere on the highway. Right, and it can kind of be anywhere. It depends where Maxis have put the spawn points. If you go around deleting big sections of the the regional freeway, and you accidentally like delete spawn points and stuff, it can just like completely crash the game, uh, and you will lose it. So what I would suggest is, if you want to play around with um, kind of making major alterations to either the uh, regional freeways or the regional railroads. Uh, do it in a test region first, you know, create a region, play around, do the changes, see if it all still works. If it does, then you can put it into your into your kind of real region. Um, so, yeah, just, be, you know, be careful with that, guys. And a quick word about resources. Um, I had a couple of questions about resources, people saying uh, resources have disappeared, you know, do they work or whatever. Uh, let me show you. So let's um, let's get rid of this. And we'll go over to the overlays and, okay, Colt. Now, you can see, um, and here's our original area, remember. And we've got a coal pot deposit down here. And we've got uh, an ore deposit up here. And we've even got an oil deposit as well. What a resource-rich area we've got. But you'll notice there's nothing outside the original map borders but they are still inside even though we've um, we've extended it now so you will keep your original resources but now I, I I can't say this is absolutely gospel but this is my understanding of how this works what happens is when they create the the, the region maps when Maxis actually create the regions they're pre-generated and they've actually got resources like all over the map all over the place and then when Maxis kind of craft the individual plots after they've done that and, and they're finished, all of the resources from the rest of the map are stripped out. And that's why we don't have any resources out of, outside of the original map boundaries. Which is a shame, but hey, it is what it is, guys. Oh, and while I think about it, I um, had a couple of questions from people saying, um, okay, well, you've shown plopping RCI buildings outside the original map boundaries but um, you know what about the what about normal buildings you know like power or waste disposal or garbage or anything any all of the of the ordinary buildings police and fire and all that kind of stuff um, you know what about plopping that outside yeah absolutely guys yeah uh, all of these will plop outside so let's just take a building at random yeah anywhere that you've got um, uh, snap points then uh, then you can plop in uh, any of the buildings that you've got and that's like like casinos um, but oil refineries Omega factories like you name it 
if you can plop it then you can plop it anywhere including outside the map borders so I uh, just wanted to clear that one up okay now a couple of tips on uh, dealing with glitchy terrain and if I zoom in a little bit here see this bit of road here let's, let's go and take it as you can see this is um, this road is glitching out and what's happened is when I've connected this road to the highway um, the highway has deformed and it goes it goes like up and down um, which is kind of a pain so when you're joining roads to um, to regional highways try and do it somewhere nice and flat and do it straight rather than at an angle and you'll find that you'll get um, a lot less of these deformations but uh, what happens when you're laying your own roads and you get deformation I use a, a nice streetcar avenue to hopefully demonstrate this and this is a bit um, this can be a little bit of a pain so I'm going to try and show you a, a few different techniques for dealing with this so let's um let's pop in just a straight road up here and okay and we've just got this bit glitching up here but I, I'd like to get it glitching in the middle if I can okay this will do um, so we've got let's um can I zoom in a bit? Yeah. So we've got a glitchy bit here and we've got a glitchy bit here. Now if you're making trying to make a nice pretty city, or especially if you're doing like designs out in the out in the the desert and I don't know, you want to write your name and stuff like that, these ter these terrain glitches are like kinda annoying. When I was doing the um uh the pyramid city, I was trying to do a design just outside the borders and I had this um this problem. Well there are a couple of things you can do. So the the first thing to try right is uh, is like just relay it so delete the glitchy section there now what will happen is when you delete the the glitched section th these end parts of the road will reset to the current terrain height right and sometimes just doing that is enough to fix it and let's try and just relay this and oh right and it's relayed and the glitch is fixed excellent um, sometimes that isn't enough right so um, I'll, I'll do like a midsection in here and what you do is you you lay little sections of road at a time so just lay a little bit right and it will reset to the new terrain height and then you lay a little bit more and it resets to the new terrain height and this way you can get around like quite a lot of these kind of um, these kind of glitches um, so play around with it persevere you may have to do it two or three times to get rid of like all the glitches but pr I promise you you can get rid of them if you, if you persevere now sometimes you'll come across um, like really severe bits of terrain where when you lay a road um, it will it will really bury itself and like you it'll just be a straight line um, like just a straight angle going up the terrain and it'll be completely buried um, there's there are a couple of things you can try to fix that the the best one I'm gonna you should use like dirt roads for this but I'm gonna use a, a low density road kind of just to show you because it shows up a little bit better um, select your arc tool and then where the where the terrain is particularly severe put in just short arcs um, where you're putting the road in right so like this okay now what that does is it, it sets these roads at the height of the terrain so then when you take your, your road that you're actually going to put in and you plonk it up here um, it automatically sets these bits of road to the correct height now the bits in between like won't be right but these bits are then get rid of your um, your little spurs that you, you've used to set the road height and that will adjust the um, the road anyway right and then where you've got little glitches left you just do the um, the same thing as before which is delete the glitched section and then lay it in as short a section as you can and oh I should switch back to the straight road tool it'd be a little bit easier it works with the curve tool but I want to do it with the straight. so there you go and 
there. Right, and so now I've got it all back to a good height and no glitches. And I could do the same down there. But um, you get the general idea. So there's a couple of tips on dealing with glitch terrain. Okay, finally, uh, one question that I got asked was about um, dealing with m uh, multiple cities. If you're dealing with um, uh, one city, you kind of don't have any issues. If you just say, you know what, I'm going to build in here, just get on with it, build whatever the, we, you want, no issues. But when you start dealing with uh, multiple city plots, uh, things get a little bit more complicated and there are some things that you have to bear in mind when you're sort of planning things out. Um, so here we've got uh, two city plots next door to each other um, and we've been building across uh, this other city plot and I want to show you uh, how this looks from the perspective of this other city okay so I've jumped over to um, Scorpion Shores this is which is the, the, the next door plot to the one that we've been building in and as you can see there's where we've been building in the other plot and it's um, it's come across into this plot so what do we see well when we go down here right here's the um, the buildings from the other city and it's all a bit glitchy and it kind of depends on the terrain and like you won't see regional roads okay now this means that when you're planning out multiple cities in a, in a, in a multiple city region, you've kind of got to figure out where you're going to build to in each different plot. And also, when you're dealing with roads, now let's say, for example, whoa, sorry, lost control of the mouse there. <laughs> um, when you're putting in uh, connecting roads between two cities, you have to remember that you only see things from the perspective of the city that you're in okay so if we put a, a, a regional road in in this city over here when you come over to this city you're not going to see it okay so I could put a, a regional road in connecting this plot say like up to this highway but when I come into this city I won't see that road okay so what you need to do is you need to put in a second road that's from this city's perspective. So, I, you know, I just go to here, go to my regional streets, for example, and say, okay, I'm going to put in a, a high density highway from, you know, here um, across to here. And what you do is just make sure that they mirror each other. So you've got a road from sit this city to this city, and then you put a, a road from this city to this city. Okay, I hope you followed that because that was um, a little bit confusing even to me. Uh, <laughs> but um, but yeah, and that way you can you can connect them up, and you can actually connect highway systems across um, groupings. So like on this map, we've got two groupings of eight cities, and um, within the groupings they'll share uh, power and services and you can gift cash and stuff like this now you can create connections between cities um, which are in different groupings and sometimes you can get things like power and gifting to flow across but um, it, it is a bit of trial and error I have to say there is no I have played around with it I don't have a like a consistent solution to say this is how to get it to work at a uh, hundred percent of the time so I'm afraid that one you're gonna have to play around with so just remember when uh, when you're putting in multiple city um, regions you need to do a bit of planning beforehand about exactly how you're going to lay them out. Right, that's it for this time. Next time, guess what we're going to be doing? Well, if you guess right, will you tell me? Because I've got no freaking idea. <laughs> I'm going to come back and I don't know. I might start building a region. If I've got any really good tips that I think, then I'll throw those in as well. I think we're probably going to be building. Come back and see. See you for the next one. Peace out.